Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can automatically move data from one table to another with Office scripts. So for example, you might have a task list and when you complete items, you mark them as complete in a table and then you can click a button and then have those completed tasks automatically moved to another table. Let's take a look. So here's the setup that we've got. We have two sheets and in the first sheet here, we've got a table full of tasks. And in our second sheet here, we've got the same table and it's empty right now. So this is where our completed tasks are going to go. So here, our first table we've got named as to-do. And this table here, we've got named as done. And we've also got this status column here and it allows us to select a status for each task. And one of them here is completed. So whenever a task is completed, we can select that. And so I just marked item 10 and item 13 as completed. And then we've got this button up here that allows us to move those tasks over to the other sheet. And so if you take a look now, we've got item 10 and item 13 in our table here. And they've been removed from our to-do table. So let's take a look at how we can set this up. So here's our task list. And the first thing we're gonna do is put this inside an Excel table. So I'm just gonna select anywhere in there and go to the insert tab and click on the table command. It's gonna select our range and the first row has headers. So we're gonna leave that checked. And now we've got our Excel table. We can go up to the design tab and I'm just gonna quickly change the color. And more importantly, we're gonna rename this as our office script that we're gonna use relies on the name. So I'm just gonna type in new name and press enter. And we've got a new table named to do. And I'm just gonna copy it and go over to my other sheet and paste it in here. And go up to the design tab and here, we're gonna name this done and press enter. And this is the table that our tasks are gonna to move to. So we're just gonna delete all of the rows in here. If we select them and right click, delete and table rows. Now we've got an empty table for our tasks to go into. Now we're gonna add in our office script. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the automate tab and here we're gonna create a new script and so you can create scripts by recording your actions, but in this case, we've got a script set up, so we're gonna create in the code editor. And here we've got a sample script, so we're just going to delete that and then paste in our office script. And let's give that a name. And so in this office script, you can see that we're getting our two tables, the to-do table and the done table. And then we're gonna get all the data from our to-do table. And in our to-do table, we're gonna find out what the index number of our status column is so that we can reference it later. And then we're gonna filter our rows to where the status is equal to completed. And then we're gonna add those rows into our done table. And once those are added into our done table, we can remove them from our to-do table. And to do that, we're gonna loop through our table starting at the bottom and then deleting those rows where we have the status as completed. Now to actually run this script, what we're gonna do if we click on these three dots, then we're gonna have some options here. And one of them is to add the script into the workbook. Let's choose that. And that's gonna create a button for us that when we click on it, it's gonna run the script. And I'm just gonna right click on it and that's gonna allow me to move it around. 
And now let's test this out. So here, let's change a few of these to completed. So item three, item eight, and let's do item 13 and click that button. And you can see that those have been removed from our to-do list and those now appear in our completed table. So that's how you can automatically move data from one table to another with Office scripts. And if you want this script, you can use the link below to download the workbook and it'll be in there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.